event, the European Trampoline Championships for 1991. The place, Poznan in Poland, in September of this year. A warm welcome as we greet you to those scenes inside the People's Hall here in Poznan. And coming up in this program, let us introduce you to two of the finest exponents of world trampolining. Well, British champions on the world stage are few and far between, but did you know that in the field of top-level trampoline sport, British girls rank alongside the world's best. And later on, we'll introduce you to Susan Chalice and the UK's number one, Andrea Holmes. As we get into the event proper, we're looking here at the men's singles, and this is Ralph Peller from Germany. Ralph Peller. He's in the top ten in the world, third in the world championships in France in 86, and last year in Essen, finishing in sixth place. Now, Hiltrud Röwe, one of the top German girls, also in Essen last year when the world championships were held. Trampolining has been around since the late 1950s that became a sports discipline in its own right in 1960. Great progress being made, particularly through the schools in this country. Where trampolining is seen as a great discipline for both young boys and girls. And not surprisingly, the main thrust of competition here in Poland comes from the former Iron Curtain countries. As we look at one of the Strong Soviets here just warming up on the springs. There is Sergei Nestrelyai. He was a junior European champion in the 80s. Hasn't quite fulfilled that early potential to come through and take the world crown that many predicted he would back in 1984. But he's a very strong competitor indeed and thrilling the crowd here with a superbly disciplined routine as we see. 60 seconds they have to impress the judges with a range of somersaults, turns, saldos, doubles and triples. And as you see, our camera's picking up the first of the British girls. This is Susan Chalice as the men and the ladies alternate here. So Susan just building up the momentum with half a dozen jumps into the center of the trampoline and then she'll begin her routine proper. Here she goes. Now the things to look out for are those ankles must be together. The head to remain as still as possible all the work is being done in the torso between the shoulders and the hips. And that's a good, good routine from Susan Chalice of Great Britain. That'll keep her well up in the overall standings. Back to the men, Alexander Danichenko from the Ukraine, from the Soviet Union. Hasn't as yet landed any of the major titles, but he's very strong indeed. You can see the height building up to the turns as he begins to go for high marks. And he's really attacking the mat, Danilchenko. This is a brave routine. He's needing to score well here to push himself up to the top of the leaderboard. Perhaps just needed something extravagant to finish on a strong note, but certainly appreciated by the Polish fans here inside the People's Hall. And also from the Soviet Union, we have Lada Chebrenko. She's currently in third place.
She had the problems the the of the trampoline, as you saw, and her minute completed. A solid performance from the Soviet girl, Lada Jevrenko. Dmitry Poliarus, Soviet Union. Poliarus comes here with an impressive track record. First in the Junior European Championships, Poland 86. Had a second place in the World Championships, which took place in Birmingham, Alabama, 1988. And then defending successfully his junior title in Germany in the same year before moving into the senior category to no little effect at last year's Essen World Championships. Dmitry Poliarus, the man you see here, was the world runner-up. And that's the reason why triple twists and turns and a controlled landing it was very close to the edge of the mat there. Dmitry Poliarus. The world's number two, Dmitry Poliarus. She's in second place here in the next And you have to go a long way to see a better display of trampolining within the 60 seconds allowed. That was the whole range, the whole gamut, the whole expression of top-line trampolining. Now, the delightful figure of Tatiana Lushina. She's also a previous European champion. And the junior world champion in France five years ago. She's now looking to make the big step up into the seniors. Currently lying second, Tatiana Lushina. She may be providing the major opposition to Britain's Andrea Holmes, who will be the next to go in the ladies' event after, we have, after we've seen here, Alexander Moskalenko. So Andrea Holmes knows what she has to do. One good score in her final routine. Tatiana Lushina at the moment is the girl to beat. And for the men, Alexander Moskalenko, the last to go. Well, this is the world champion. And we can see straight away that he's getting far more height than anybody who's gone before him. Now we'll go into the routine with the first of those tumbles. This is impressive stuff. And never at any stage did he seem to be in trouble. He was in hurry. It was controlled throughout. And that would be enough, I think, to give Moskalenko first place. Now, this is the girl that we're pinning our hopes on, Andrea Holmes of Great Britain. Junior European champion, Spain 83, Holland 85 in Rotterdam. Defended again successfully in Poland. And then on the world stage, three times the runner up. But there's been nobody to touch her in the European Championships over the past decade or so. Andrea Holmes. She's also one of our leading coaches. She seems happy with it. Scream of delight. Hyperventilating as the routine comes to an end. Andrea, helped down by her colleagues. And the scores are good. The scores are good. Andrea is the champion again in the latest singles ahead of Lucina. Then Chibrenko as the Soviets take second and third. Susan Chalice down in fourth place head of the German Hiltrud Röwe. Joy for Britain then in the latest singles.